Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about Amazon Web Services and how to get a free account on it. So for that we'll be going to our website which is Amazon, uh, aws.amazon.com and if you go to this page you can see there are so many things available here, uh, don't get confused with all these things. Now first of all we'll talk about different services provided by Amazon and then we'll move towards how to get an account. You can see that they give you an option of getting a free, free account here. But do we really get a free service? That's important, right? So if you scroll down, it provides so many products. As you can see, it uh, you know it will take uh, 10 years to learn all these services. But we don't need all, right? So if you simply want to work with one type of services, you can use that. Uh, Amazon provides different type of services for mobile, for a a a IoT, for AI, for database, for, uh, for your web application. So the first one is compute. You can see we have EC2 here. EC2 basically stands for Elastic Cloud Computing and so it, it provides you a virtual server. So instead of having your own servers, you know, you can have, you can buy a server, you can, uh, you, you can, you can uh, install all the OS servers and all those stuff. Instead of doing that, you can actually use a virtual server, right? So that is EC2. But then on that EC2, if you want to run some services, uh, if you want to deploy your web application, you don't want to do anything else, you just want to deploy web application uh, so you can use Elastic Beanstack uh, stock. Uh, use, uh, on this you can, you can actually deploy your application. So this is basically a server and this is where you'll be de deploying the application. So you can imagine uh, Beanstalk actually works on EC2. Right? So these are the services provided. So there are so many services which we don't need all these services. Uh, the videos which will be coming on the way will be using EC2 and Beanstalk. Uh, okay, let's say if you're a developer and if you want some special service. So you can, if you explore developer services, we have this amazing thing called as AWS CodeStar, which we are going to use. Uh, AWS also have their own GitHub repository, uh, Git repository. We can, uh, you can also say we, we have worked on GitHub, right? So GitHub has its own web repositories and AWS provides you a, a kind of GitHub, which is a code commit. Uh, then we have code build if you want to, if you want to compile your classes on, on the server. Uh, you can deploy your application. Right, so there are so many services available. We'll talk about all these things, which we are not going to talk about is mobile services. We are not going to talk about IoT. We are not going to talk about all these services. But in case if you have uh, interest in this, I would suggest explore this. You might be thinking we have to pay for it. Uh, uh, actually, no, you don't have to pay for that because Amazon provides you free services for one year. Right, that's amazing, right? So for one year, you can learn all these things, you can implement, and then if you feel, okay, Amazon is something we, where you should uh, focus on, you can then pay for the services or you can get certified by Amazon. And trust me, if you are Amazon certified, you will get a good a good job available in the market. So there's, there's so many vacancies for Amazon certified people. Uh, not Amazon certified people, but AWS certified people to be specific. Uh, AWS is Amazon Web Services. Okay, so if I lease down again, we can we have seen those products there, right? Or you can if you can lease down, there are so many services provided by Amazon. Uh, we don't have to use everything. You don't have to learn everything. Of course, you you cannot be uh, you cannot be uh, a, a master of master of all, right? So we'll be using only those things which we need as a developer. Okay, now comes to pricing. This is very important, right? So when you click on pricing, uh, first of all, we don't have to care about pricing. It's it's been costly when you work on servers. But again, uh, when you deploy a, web, web, a website or when you make an enterprise application, of course, you are generating some revenue to spend on the services as well, right? Uh, so yeah, those are things here. Um, yeah. Now the important part for us is this, this one, free tier, because we want free tier for one year. Now, if you go for here, 12 months free, so you can see these are the services you get for free for 12 months. Uh, you get API Gateway for 12 months, you get uh, CodeFront, okay, these are all different services. We are concerned about EC2, so you get uh, 750 hours per month. Now you were thinking, okay, we only get 750 hours, but don't worry, if you see a calculator, and in one month, let's say if you have 30, 30 days, and 30 days into uh, 24 hours, if you're running that for 24 hours, you can, you can see we only have 720 hours in a month, right, and it is giving you 750. Okay, even if you go for the 31 uh, into uh, 24, you can see we have only 744 hours in a, in, a, in an year, right? So, uh, 744 hours in a month, and that would be enough, right? But then why they are specifying 750? They could have said free, right, for a month. The thing is, you might run multiple instances. What is instance? Multiple servers. So, on free account, you can run only one server. You can run multiple server, but if you are running two servers, 
then every server will be counted as okay so if you're running one two servers for one hour it is two hours because you have two servers if you're running five servers for one hour it is five hours right and again if you're going beyond that it will charge you uh, then what, what are the services it provides it provides your service so what are the things we need uh, we need RDS again 7, 750 hours RDS is basically a database thing uh, the traditional database service from Amazon Right, this is here, and it gives you option of MySQL, Postgres, MariaDB, and all different services. What else we are going to use? That's it. We are going to use uh, these two services, which are there for 750 hours, and there are some services which are free forever. Just become a member, and then you will get this service for free. Uh, so the things which we are going to use, which is the free version, is this one: Code Commit, Code Pipeline, Code Build. Uh, what else? Code. Uh, where is Code Commit? It's not here. Yeah, so these are the things which you get for free for, for forever. But the question arises, do we really use this service individually? Of course not. <laughs> so these are dependent upon some other service which are paid. So yeah, these are the, these are the uh, services it provides you. And so you can deploy your web application, you can deploy your mobile application, you can, uh, you can use the cloud, you can use the video service from Amazon. So, you know, cloud services are awesome. But then how to get an account now? It's very simple. Just click on create free account. You, you can see this on the uh, homepage itself. The moment you click on that, uh, it will ask you for certain things, your name, your email address, your password, your password. And if you provide all these details, after that, it will ask you for your credit card information. Oh, that's weird, right? Why they are asking for credit card? Don't worry, the services are free. They, they will not charge you for one year, provided you're not crossing the limits. Maybe uh, they, were, they are providing you one instance and for the experiment, you're running two instances, or maybe you're actually running your production server on Amazon for free. That will not work because uh, when, you run, when, when you run production service, it needs lots of other services. So they will charge you if you are going beyond that. But otherwise, if you're not going beyond that stuff, uh, it, they will not charge you, right? So if I enter a name, let's say Naveen, if I enter an email address with, let's say, Telisco, I guess I already, already have an account here. I cannot give that name. What other email ID you have? Which, so I don't have a uh, account here, so I will say at gmail.com. And then password, I will say any password will do. Okay, so if I click on continue, uh, it will ask you for so some other details as well. Password does not match the requirement. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Okay, I don't remember the password which I entered. Okay, it says account already exists. So I have all my accounts on Amazon with all the, all the email IDs. But yeah, you can try with this. Uh, it will work. So create an account. It will ask you for credit card information. Just enter the credit card information. They will not charge you for that. Uh, provided you're not crossing the limits of that 750 hours. And that's it. You will get your free account. Now in the next video, we'll talk about once you got an account and once you have logged in, what other things you can do. So that's it from this video where we have talked only talked about the other uh, how to create an account on Amazon and what are the services it provides. So that's it from this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys.